Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to make these super cute little puff daisies. I adore using them to embellish things, but they're also cute as like a little brooch or something. First up, you'll need a pair of scissors, a four or 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, double knit yarn in your center color and your petal color. And that's all. So we'll start by making a magic loop. And this is my little trick. So I wrap the yarn around my finger twice. I pull the back loop over the front loop. And then I pull this loop over my finger and pull that tightly. And just add it to your hook. We'll then chain four and join with a slip stitch into the first chain to form a loop, like so. Then we can decide how many petals we wish to have on this flower. So these ones have six, but if you wish to have an odd number, so five or more, you would just make the amount of half double crochets you wish to have petals. So we're going to work six for this particular flower. And then join with a slip stitch into the first half double crochet made to form that circle. Once we've completed our center, ready to build our petals, we have six half double crochets here, so we'll make six petals. We start by chaining three. And we're going to do a 10 double crochet cluster. Now it does get tricky, so keep it nice and loose. So I yarn over, pop the hook, oh, sorry, <laughs> chickens. We pull up a loop, but I like to make sure that it's the same length as, <laughs> oh, Rocky, go away. <laughs> he wants to be involved. We make it as tall as the three chains from the beginning. Are you finished? <laughs> we repeat this 10 times, so I'll go ahead and do this. It does become quite tough right near the end, so I, like I say, keep it nice and loose and you shouldn't have a problem. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we have a lot of loops on our hook and it should look like this. Rocky's gone now, so no more cockadoodle doing. So we, we yarn over and we pull through all these loops. It can be tricky, but we leave the last one from the chain three on there. And then to secure, we complete this by another yarn over. We pull through those two. So we have a nice little puffy petal. Then we chain three, and this finishes our petal. We slip stitch into the same stitch again. And then we move on to the next. So we chain three. We complete 10 of those unfinished, almost double crochet. So that's a 10 double crochet cluster. So remember to keep it nice and loose. We pull up as high as those chain threes are. And we do 10, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we yarn over and pull through all of them except the last one where the chains are. And then to secure, we simply yarn over and pull through those two finish the petal by creating our last chain three and slipping back into that same stitch. So we have two. I'll go ahead and complete the rest. So 
let's chain three. Right, we're on to the last petal. So we chain three, we yarn over, pull up a loop. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We chain three and we're slipping into here. Then I like to finish by placing one more slip back into that very first petal. Pull up, cut your yarn and match your fingers <laughs> and tie off. So this is the flower itself. Here I've just used, um, it's actually the Woolbox own brand yarn, the white double crochet. It's super soft and it's acrylic, so it's really affordable too. I have some very special yarns, um, lots of hand dyed. I, I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to pretty yarns. And this one in particular, I can't remember the name of it, but it did come from my lovely friend Claire over from Ruffles Crochet. And she sells lots of hand dyed beautiful one of a kind mini skeins of yarn do recommend checking her shop out on etsy I'll show you how to do the center now so choose your center color and we will find the end so the center the puffy bit in here nice and easy really however it is tricky to work around the post but once the first few yarn overs and drawing up of the double crochets is complete it kind of falls into place so I'll attach my yarn in this post here it doesn't matter which one just use any from around the circle and I just single crochet attach like that you can use any method you wish so it's here and we chain three now we're actually going to work the puff stitch into the first chain, so not the joining, the first chain here. So we yarn over, pop it in, yarn over, and make sure again it's nice and loose. Yarn over, and we complete this for a total of 10 times again. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we complete this the same as we wear the petals, so we yarn over and we pull through all the way to the last one. And we close off by yarning over and pulling through those last two. Now here's where it's slightly different. We don't chain three, so we just chain one and we find the opposite post and we secure this here. So we pull it through and we tie off. Now, to make it nice and neat, I like to pop my hook through the next hole along. So there's that one and then this one. Pop it in here and you see that last finishing chain. You can grab your end, just pull this through here. 
and that just neatens that area up and I go over and do the same at the other side so opposite hole and I pull through here I grab that end and then I pull it down and then get rid of the white one so again there's an end here I just put it through to the back so it's looking something like this super pretty I always turn over to the back I like to tie the center color because it gives it that little extra bit of pull for the pop of the middle I just tie these together And then you'll have um, a few ends to work this onto whatever you wish so your intended project but i think these are so fun and super easy and so cute yeah that's it any questions of course as usual feel free to pop me a message and i'll happily answer and i'll see if i can help have a lovely weekend Bye bye <music>